Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be doing this video for you guys. I've never been more happy to get a product in my life. I don't know why, but um, I got it and this is what we're gonna talk about today. It's the Rachel K CC Cream. I have the color in original and that's the fairest color. I believe there's three colors, original and a medium color and a darker color. And um, before I do any review, I just wanted to show you what the effect of it is on um, just bare skin. I don't even have any moisturizer on and so I uh, have to put it on right away because it's kind of um, pulling a little bit. Um, but anyway, what can I say about Rachel K? Well, I have many things to say. I'm happy so about this product. I love it. I hate primers, okay? And I've never, I've tried primers and they're terrible on my skin. And so I've always, I've been watching Lisa, um, Lisa Lisa D1's channel for many years now and she swears by this and she always wears this um, together with uh, Laura Mercier mineral powder so I got it I tried it I love it but I wear it with a mineral powder I own I also wear it alone by itself I believe this will be a great product for this summer because this is made in Korea however it's made by um, um, Rachel Kum and she is um, was Miss Singapore so um, she, I watched an interview with her and I'll post it in the below bar that she talks about this product being amazing for humid places and that's exactly where I live. I live in the south of Italy, right in front of the sea, the beach, whatever, and it gets to be extremely humid in the summertime. I hate wearing anything on my skin even though I do want to wear something on my skin. And then too many products become a problem. Cream, sunscreen, foundation or BB cream. It's just, it's just, um, I don't really like it and that's why last year, last summer, I went on a no foundation summer and it was also to build like self-esteem and get rid of the safety blanket that we always use like foundation. However, this has 10 things all in one. It has collagen, it has brightening, it has SPF, it has moisturizing agents, um, it has color control because that's what CC cream is and I haven't, I've never really bought into the BB cream thing because it's just a colored cream of course so um, I said but you know what I'm gonna try this because I have to put moisturizer on I have to put SPF on and this is 35 plus 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 I think and I want to brighten my skin and most of all I want to color correct my skin because today is a really bad day for my skin because it's that time of month so uh, as you will see when I zoom in um, I have a lot of redness and little spots here and there Normally it's not that bad, um, but I need a lot of sun, uh, sun protection because I'm using Retin-A and Retin-A, as you know, needs a very high SPF. So in the summertime, what am I going to do? I can't be putting on all these things on my face, especially with 40 degrees. It just activates everything and becomes just a total mess. So I said to myself, you... You know, you do want some kind of foundation color correction in the summertime. So what's the best thing? Something like this. And it wasn't about, I wasn't about to try another BB cream because that's still, um, it just doesn't suit my needs. I guess I'm like talking a lot about it already. I'm doing a review before I have it on. Well, that's okay. I mean, that's the beauty of these improvised, um, not prepared uh, tutorials. I never prepare anything. I just sit down and talk to you. But anyway, um, what did I want to say? I um, wear it on its own. Now the color is fair. It's extremely fair and more on the pinkish side. But if you wait a few minutes, it kind of blends together with your skin. Now, I'm also doing this because when I was researching for Rachel K, I never really found anyone that told me their skin color like using the MAC um, foundation, the universal coloring. MAC, we all use MAC to understand what kind of color we have on our skin. And I use, I normally use, let me put on my glasses. Oh, these are new glasses, by the way. So um, I normally use NC15. And this is the MAC uh, Pro Longwear. 
So NC15, that means I'm yellow based. And of course, this is pinkish. I just have a little bit on the back of my hand and I'm gonna blend it. It's very um, a luxurious type of satin finish, which is also moisturizing though. So see, it's like blending in my skin and it doesn't really do anything. You think it really doesn't do anything, but as you will see on my face, it does something. It evens out my skin. It takes away any like redness. It controls um, my oil. Do you have any more normal to combination? And also it um, moisturizes because it doesn't dry out my skin even though it's like sort of a satin finish it does leave you kind of glowy the only only little negative thing since i do use retin a sometimes i get little flaky bits here and there and uh, i'm especially like a little bit um dry here and so during the day since it's like it forms like a little powdery film around the flaky bits just a little I don't know, it's like, uh, it's like a little bit of fog, or I don't know, that's what I call it, a little bit of fog on the flaky bits. It's like fresh snow that has just um, laid on that dead little skin. But all you do is this, really, or what I tend to do is that I spray, you can either spray with a Fix Plus during the day, or I use the Aven, um, Sp the water um, or the uh, lately I've been using the Caudalie just to like moisturize and stuff but anyway I've used it with in many ways my favorite way is on its own especially during the summer I can't wait to get the two other colors and I will get the two other colors because this I won't get away with during the summer I'm going to be too pale because my body does tan because there's sun everywhere you walk around here even if you're in the shade you do tend to get a little bit of a suntan and so um, I use this I will use this in the summer and now I'm using it not on its own but I want a little bit more coverage and I use it with the Shiseido um, SPF 30 let me put on my glasses since I got new glasses I'm always so lazy to put them on um, it's SP40 Gosh, it's so small. SP40 Sun Protection um, Compact Foundation. So it is a foundation and I apply over it and I find it nicer than the Rachel K. I like, uh, sorry, than, than the Laura Mercier. I like using the Laura Mercier on its own. Um, so I don't know, I think it also has great skin um, benefits on, on my skin. Um, and I'm not talking for everyone, but I mean, I have uh, watched many videos, I'm looking in the mirror to look at my skin, I've watched many videos and what I really didn't find helpful is that they firstly didn't tell me their color and like I said I'm an NC15 so I'm fair but I'm yellow. This works uh, and it brightens my skin but it's not the same color as my skin even though it really doesn't matter because it kind of melts into your skin, gives a brightening but it's not like total coverage that um, you see like a difference. Of course you might want to go, I'm sure the middle one uh, color would be fine for me but I always had like bad references with other videos. So I'm here to show you exactly what it looks like. I'll do one side of my face applying it with my hands and uh, the other hand, the other side also, but I just wanted to show you the difference first of all. And of course I'm gonna zoom in. And um, what I wanted to tell you the most important thing is that you're supposed to tap this in, like dab it in, you're not supposed to blend. But what I do is I put a, sm um, a thin layer all over my face and I blend it to just give it's, it's just faster that way and then I go and tap it in in the more problematic areas especially here which I have um, because I have like a little enlarged pores or redness maybe around my nose this is an excellent primer this is an amazing primer uh, I suggest you all try it if you can get your hands on it I bought it on their website on Rachel K's website directly from Singapore, they shipped to Italy, no problems, and it was amazing. I always have problems uh, buying stuff from the States and just from outside of Europe. Always have problems. I wait months to get products, but this got here 
in two weeks. It was just incredible. I'm so happy. So I can't wait to get the other um, two colors. I'm so happy because Rachel K uh, saw my video and I hope she sees this video too. And she um, retweeted my my posts and my videos. So I also hope I will get to be on their website on one of their videos because I just love this. I believe that if you are as fair as I am and you are like yellow based, there's not many videos around that show you what this Rachel K does on your skin and how you apply it and the before and after and also um, now it is I don't have a watch hold on let me get my iPhone okay it is Saturday it is 3 15 if you can see it 3 20 sorry it's 3 20 so I'm gonna wear it all day long I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out with my friends shopping do whatever just with the Rachel K on and then we'll see each, we're gonna see each other later on tonight to look at the uh, results. Okay, so now I'm gonna zoom you in and we're gonna start with the application. I hope it's not too bright, but as you can see, I'm um, full of discoloration and red little spots here and there and broken capillaries. And my glasses have made like big red dents, not these ones, but the other ones that I had, because I just bought these. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to show you what a big difference. I'm going to put a little pin here to show you. There you go. It's my beautiful face. Let me see if it's focused. Let's start. And I even have a white t-shirt, so oh my gosh. I'm going to take my rings off. And I'm going to do this side because it's the most problematic side. I'm going to try not to look too much in my mirror. And first, I take a little bit of of cream like this and I apply it on I'm just gonna apply it to one side and as you can see it look it seems very thick and it is but then it isn't but you have to be fast if you wanna um, if you blend it like this you kind of has have to be fast if you tap it in then it has more resistance like it, it stays more moisturizing so I quickly go down, I quickly um, apply some all over. Now you will get, of course, a lot of white here now because the lights are so bright, but I can't do anything about it. It's just bright like that. But you can see that now I'm gonna work it around my eye and it's gonna get rid of the discoloration around my eye. It says not to, to use it around your eye, but I just use it also as a primer and just simply, I simply use it to uniform my color. Just make sure it doesn't really get into your eye and then you'll be fine. And so you see that it makes a big difference. I, I see it, I don't know if you can see it, but you're supposed to see it because it's an HD camera. Okay, now that I have put a nice, even, thin layer all over my skin, I'm going to take some more and just dab it in the more problematic areas, which is around my cheek area, my nose, here on my forehead. And also on my nose because I have a lot of redness on my nose. Okay, and that is one side of my face done. And it looks very white, but it's not. And then the other side is terrible without it. So now I'm going to take a picture so that I can post it on my blog, the before and after result. Okay, and now I'm going to do the other side and it kind of dries pretty fast, but your skin stays like it's elastic and you're still, you're like, you still feel moisturized. Now remember I didn't put any moisturizer, so I do need this little bit of moisturization on my, um, on my face. All right, now remember I don't even have um, concealer under my eyes and it does a great job as you can see. So right now I'm getting lots of benefits to my skin, plus collagen, brightening, moisturizing, SPF, and it looks great. The more you wait, the more it blends into your skin, the better it is, and the color is just 
wonderful for an NC15 like me. I will try to mix it with the um, other more darker color, but um, I think this is great. Let me do the other side and I will be right back. Okay, so I have, uh, I have applied sides on my face. As you can see, it evens out my skin. Um, it's not very different than from my rest of my skin, although I am a little bit more yellow as you can see, but this is brightening of course because it's the fairest color. Now, what I what you can see from this is that it's not a foundation, but it not only evens out, but it corrects any redness and imperfections because the way I was before was just terrible. And also under my eyes, I carefully patted it under my eyes and the dark circles under my eyes went away. So, you know, it really is amazing, especially for summertime when you don't want to wear anything else. Some women think that maybe this is not enough, but believe me, I wear high coverage foundation, which is like um, the, Pro, uh, the MAC Pro Longwear, or now the Shiseido Perfect Refining Foundation, and you know, and sometimes you don't want to wear like MAC face and body, especially when it's 40 degrees. So, but anyway, you can wear this as a primer, as many women do, or you can wear it in the summertime by itself. Right now, like I'm saying, I'm wearing it um, as a primer during winter time because over it I have these products to play around with, but um, you don't really have to. And I just want to show you that even without something on, you can get away with this. I, of course, now I would be using, and I will use, some bronzer. So the bronzer that I'm going to use, let's see, what bronzer am I going to use? Um, I think I'm going to use the um, Caudalie bronzer, which is really, um, which I've been liking a lot. I won't be using it with foundation because if I use it with foundation, then I mean, there's no really purpose in the video. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of concealer under my eyes, and this is the Ma um, the Maybelline Fit Me in number 15. I'm just going to turn around here and apply it a little bit under my eyes, around my nose and on top of my nose just a little bit though and here i have a little spot a little spot just on what you would do normally you know but not go crazy with it because you don't really want to exaggerate so i'm gonna dab it in and as you can see it's going to adhere to the cc cream very well now i know that the um, rachel k also have powders I would love to try their powders love 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 but you know one thing at a time can be spending too much and just on top of my nose because I do have some red red um, a red um, capillary that is very stubborn but I think the Rachel K does an amazing job All right, and I'll keep it very natural with my eyes too. Okay, and that's it. I have concealer. Whoops, I forgot this little spot and this. And that's it. I will now put my bronzer, my blush, and I will be right back. Oh, and also do my eyes. Okay, guys, here I am with my makeup. Okay, guys, here I am with my makeup done. I just applied, like I told you, some bronze. And the bronzer that I used is something very light by Caudalie, something used it with the 187 by MAC, and then for blush, my, not, uh, my usual uh, coral blush for 350 or something. And then my eyes, of course, um, normally, regularly, as I normal, normally do. Um, and then the lipstick, um, I'm sure somebody will ask. I use the Revlon Pink in the Afternoon, which is for me my favorite, together with the uh, Revlon Bellini uh, with no lip liner. And as you can see, it's perfection without applying foundation. And you saw that my face and my skin was not perfect. So now the ultimate test will be how long does it wear, what does it do. So now that I finished everything in filming, it's almost 5 to 4 p.m. I don't know if you can see and I will be back like tonight. Later on I'll go out, uh, do my things and see 
how it lasts. I, I already know that this is amazing and you guys will be surprised at how well it lasts and how well it covers my imperfections throughout the whole day. Remember I just put a little bit of concealer under my eyes and a little bit on the spots and that's it. Oh and I powdered under my eyes but uh, with the Vichy Derma Blend but that's it. So all I have on really is the um, is the Rachel K CC cream. I will take a picture of uh, my skin in daylight and of course I'll post everything, all the information, what I'm wearing on my face, the pictures, everything on my blog so you can check it out. Right now I'm gonna zoom in so that you can see exactly how my skin looks like. So as you can see, even under my eyes, I needed the smallest amount of everything, even of concealer, beautiful, didn't need to powder, nothing. All right, so enough with the talking and we will see each other back tonight. Hey guys, welcome back. It's uh, 9.24, so it's been about five hours, a little over five hours since four o'clock. And I look still amazing. Well, not me, but the foundation looks amazing. And um, I'm gonna be quick because my battery's dying. I, the only thing I have, I'm looking at myself in the mirror here, is that my glasses rubbed away a little bit of the um, CC cream, of course, but my forehead looks great still. Have no oiliness anywhere and um, like I said here, the um, dry patches, I'll show you up close that you can see a little bit of the CC cream um, that just stays on it. But overall, I'm very satisfied with the result. And so this, during the summertime, this would be amazing. Now I'm gonna show you up close to see uh, what I'm talking about. Okay, so as you can see here, I don't know if you can see, it's a little bit, I have some dry patches and it kind of formed a little bit of like a film, a pinkish film. But overall, you can see that it's a great finish for five hours, seeing that this is not foundation. Even around my eyes, well, of course I did put concealer, but I'm very content with the result. I love this um, CC cream and I will never be without it especially during summertime and also as a primer. It does make my uh, makeup last longer and funny enough in these five hours I watched a video by Lisa SD90 or 09 and she reviewed this CC cream and she said she's kind of in the middle. She's not wowed by it and she's not like she doesn't think it's bad but I really don't understand what? Okay, so my battery died and now it's actually, I wanted to tell you, it's 10 o'clock in the evening and I still have it on. It's actually good that way so that you see that I still um, look quite good after so many hours. Uh, so I was saying before the battery died that I was watching a Lisa SZ09 video and she was like in the middle. Yeah, I think I've already said that and I really don't know... <laughs> Um, what people think or what they expect from a product really it's, this has like so many things that it does like this product does so many things and it's not a foundation like if you want to wear this and think that it's a foundation you're gonna be in the middle or you're gonna be disappointed this is an amazing product if you think that it's not a foundation and look what it does to my skin I can only give it a 10. I mean, it's unbelievable. Um, then you might not be fans of BB creams like I wasn't a fan of BB creams, even though I never really tried the um, Asian BB creams. But anyway, what can you not like about this? Really, the color, fine, there's only three colors, but if you use it as a primer, you can use it to brighten it or to, to make it more even, but there's many things that you can do with this CC cream. What I'm showing you is that you can also use it on your own. So, you know, really I think it's so versatile and it just makes your skin look nicer. I also saw a video from Monsieur Alex 
and I like watching him and I'll also put um, his link I'll put all their links in the below bar Lisa Monsieur Alex and um, Rachel comes video and another video from um, an American girl who uh, I found out that you're supposed to tap it even though it does says here it does say it here to tap it but anyway, I put all their video Monsieur Alex uh, some of you might know him he rants and raves about this um, CC cream. He thinks it's amazing, and it actually is doing wonders for his uh, for his skin. And it is doing like things for my skin too. I can feel it. And the best part about it is that I don't feel greasy. It's more. It keeps it my. It keeps my skin like elastic, uh, but yet not like really oily. It's just great and I can't wait to review it again this summer when I get the other two colors and when it is 40 degrees so that's like the best test um, out of all anyway I think that's enough with me the only thing I should do is that I have to sh I should read you maybe what um, is written on the back it says CC cream is a much more refined and improved BB cream which combines various benefits all in one color control, oil control, whitening, brightening, moisturizing, and UV protection with SPF 35 PA++. Okay, so I put a plus more. It enhances our complexion by improving its texture, balancing skin tone, and brings forth the quality of real skin. Do we fresh elastic? Uh, which is um, an adjective that I use, but I didn't know it was written here, and with a glow. Uh, the end effect is a flawless, non-oily matte, it says in parentheses, and radiant complexion. And I agree with all this. And application, it says, after cleansing, applying a small amount, apply a small amount of cream and dab on face in a gentle um, patting motion. Leave the cream in for two to three minutes until it disappears into the skin. And it does disappear into the skin, but leaving you the uniformity of color. It can be used with foundation or solo. Totally agree with this amazing product. Two thumbs up, 10 out of 10. Um, amazing for combination to oily skin. Just gonna wait for the summer and um, film an updated video. So that's it guys. I hope this was helpful because I really needed um, to um, get this out because I'd like to help other women who do want to get this product because the information that I was looking for I'm trying to give it make sure you go to my blog check out the pictures and check out what I uh, wrote and yeah I will see you in the summer um, with an updated video bye guys